Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. So, getting ready to do your weekend love messages, your weekend love reading for each individual sign. This will be, um, it, it was, it can start from this point on Friday, uh, March 1st through March 3rd, Sunday, March 3rd. Okay, so I'm going to pull from three separate decks and then um, they're going to be short, sweet messages. Take what works for you and whatever doesn't you know you could always check your moon rising or venus as well if you're listening for your sun sign and if you want to get a personal reading from me uh just click my website link below in the description box okay so let's get started so we're going to start with aries okay so the first card you have aries is the weight card it says don't rush into don't rush into it Allow nature to take its course. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Okay, and the next card is you have the magician. Okay, so Aries, something's going on where you're being asked to not perform some magic or just to take a little bit of time before you make a decision. Um, some of you... Now, these are love readings, but they can be related to anything. I'm feeling a sense of performance, um, a performance anxiety, or something connected to being in a position of having to manifest something or desiring to be in a, a position of that, and you're being asked to wait. So something may come up this weekend that may have something to do with you needing to use every single resource you have in order to allow something to happen. But you may, it, it could cause you, you, you could have uh, so much excitement about it that you may not be able to think straight. And I feel like it could be very positive uh, news coming for you. I just want to clarify the magician. Okay, so you have the Eight of Cups. This is a situation that's causing you, or that could cause you to temporarily leave where you are, okay? Um, so you may get news about um, maybe moving, maybe moving in with someone, or someone asks you to uh, move in with them, or um, I'm feeling this is more to do with a travel situation or movement, something that could be temporary travel or or it could be the other way around someone coming to see you but there's just an element here of for you to just kind of take your time with this don't jump at this because I know it, it's going to excite you it's definitely going to bring some excitement and some new uh, something fantastic beautiful is manifesting and you may have, um, somebody could be asking you, it could possibly be a new relationship manifesting that, uh, just be careful with this because you may be making, uh, trying to make a decision or uh, moving forward so fast that, um, it causes you to take a couple of missteps now for others. Um, and normally I would, I'm not against that. I think that would be great. But for some reason, this weight card is here. And they're saying that you need to slow it down a little bit. Okay, Aries. So let's move on to Taurus. Okay, Taurus, you have the reflection card. So it says, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, you have the Emperor. All right, some of you are connected also to an Aries. Um, you and another person, probably a male, possibly an Aries, or someone that embodies having uh, stability, uh, could be a father figure. There's a... Um, a time of either separation or taking some space from each other um, and hope and, and needing to 
have faith or trust. You're being asked to have faith and trust in this emperor person. And I feel like this person is faithful and is trustworthy, but reflection is happening. So I'm going to pull a card for the emperor because it is major arcana. The Hierophant. Oh. All right, so there's a temporary. separation with someone it could be temporary separation in a marriage or there's a marriage situation where you've both separated uh, and needing to take a little bit of a time out in regard to that okay taking some time away from the institution of marriage or um You're needing to have your faith. You're not trusting something. So if you're not connected to an Aries, there's a lack of trust here. Uh, there's a lack of trust of why the person you're connected to uh, needs some space. They may have. They may be asking for a little space, or they may give you a little. Um, just, you know, basically either they have to go away or they're telling you they need a little space and you're being asked to have faith about this, to not overly worry too much about it. Because I feel like this person is, um, they're just taking some time to themselves. They're reflecting on some things in their lives. Like maybe, you know, everybody needs a little time. And so I don't feel like it's, you know, anything major. It's just something that someone you're connected to is um, needing some space. Or you may be, and you may be trying, you know, you may need to tell the person that you're connected to, I just need a little time. I have to take care of some things or whatever it could be. <laughs> could be an ailing parent. And... Um, and you need to tell them to don't worry, everything will be okay. That kind of energy. And um, I just feel like over the weekend, no matter what the energy is, no matter what's going on, it's definitely saying that there needs to be a little separation time between you and the other person. Okay, so let's move on to Gemini. So you have the look inside yourself card. <clears throat> Examine what is causing you to feel this way. All right, what way is that? Okay, you've got the full card. So there's for some reason you want to jump, Gemini, or you want to take a leap, you want to take a risk. And for those of you listening, it doesn't seem to be something in your realm or area of expertise. You kind of like to make sure you're organized or you have things um, pretty planned out or at least you have some idea of what you're doing. You could be connecting to a, an Aquarius, but something is causing you to want to take some kind of leap and you um, may need to question yourself about why you want to do a particular thing that's out of your scope. Uh, you may be asking yourself, why am I doing this? Why would I do this? Why should I do that? Why do I want to do this? What's making me feel this way? So it could be anything, you know. This could be, the full card can sometimes represent travel or having this energy of um, maybe wanting to escape or wanting to do something. I feel like you are really questioning your motive or will be questioning your motive about what's going on within you that makes you want to do this. Now, <coughs> Sorry, if you're connected to an Aquarius, if you're connected to Aquarius, there's an energy here. I'm sorry, I have something a tickle in my throat. Um, this Aquarius person is taking some kind of a risk, and it may be either upsetting you or making you happy. Either way, 
it's causing you to feel a particular way and you're looking at that I want to see oh now we have the magician and the two of wands so Again, I'm so sorry. Some kind of tickle in my throat. I've been fine all day. So, yeah. <clears throat> I feel like there's... Um, you're dealing... It, there may be um, something to do with partnership. <clears throat> Manifesting. Making a decision. Taking out... Pulling out all the stops to do... It. You're out of your element this weekend, Gemini. And... <clears throat> excuse me, you are needing to take a look inside yourself and see what's going on with that. You, you're like, what is happening to me? Why am I doing this? Do I want to really do this? There's a decision that needs to be made and you are de deciding if you should just jump and go for it or, <clears throat> goodness gracious, if you should just jump and go for it or if you should just say, wait, I need to examine. You're kind of caught you're a little trapped here because there's like you've got one foot out the door and the other is still in and, you, and you're like stuck and the door is closing and you're feeling that pressure you've got everything you need to make something go in your direction in a positive direction to manifest it but you're stopping yourself so I mean maybe it's fear maybe it's fear of, of being able to have what you want maybe it's fear of being successful Okay, um, but you know, if you need to take a look at that or, or double check, check and recheck, then that's what you need to do. But um, your message definitely is to just examine your emotions, examine your feelings about why you want to make a particular decision or why you're thinking about it. All right, so let's move on to Cancer. Okay, it says the past is now behind you. Can you see? Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So you have the Six of Cups. So <laughs> the past is behind you and Cancer's like, yeah, but I'm not ready to move on from it yet. So that's where you are. Your head is saying one thing, but your heart has not caught up to that yet. And so you're in this place of confusion, okay? Release the past, embrace new possibilities. There's a new path available right in front of you. Follow it, use your faith. You know that, you've been telling yourself this about the situation, uh, whatever it could be. And yet, your heart is still here. So it's not a bad thing. I just feel like the realization over the weekend is that you telling yourself, you know, I've been forcing, trying to force myself to get over something, to get over a past emotional connection or something from my childhood or um, getting over the hopes of reconciliation. You are saying to yourself, you know, I keep telling myself, trying to force myself out of it. And it, nothing is working. And the reason why is because it's not, you're, you're trying to make it happen and it's not time just yet for that energy to actually uh, all come together just yet. Okay, so I think the key here is for you to just keep your faith. Um, you're possibly still grieving over a situation or you're still not ready. Um, you still want to go back. You still want to have that reconciliation with, with someone or um, reconnect with someone. Um, but for some reason, um, and some of you might this weekend, there could be an energy of that, you know, you and another person seeing each other again or whomever this person is, whatever they mean to you, family, friend, lover. Um, there could be an energy of um, reconciling again. Um and also, it could be for some, not all, you could reconcile with this person and this is what helps you release them so that you both can have a new path or so that you can have a path, a path to follow, a new path. So 
I, I definitely feel that for some there is a possibility of reconciliation with someone or from your childhood or someone that you were with before. Okay. <coughs> That's something you may need to you may need to see them again. They may need to see you again. And either, as I was saying, to walk away from the relationship finally, one last try, or <clears throat> for you guys to um, carve a, a new path together. Okay, so let's move to Leo. Okay, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. Mm. So I feel like there's a desire for communication with another person. You two might actually be um, under the same moon tonight or this weekend or under the same sun, under the same, uh, in, in, this, in a pr each other's periphery. In a, um, you could be in the same field. You could be both of you in the same, in the same particular place. But neither one of you wants to talk to each other. You're both kind of ignoring each other. It's like the elephant in the room. Nobody wants to say anything. You know, but yet, you know, people, um, not people, but someone asked me once, they were like, well, how do you know if someone really is interested in you? Is this something they say, you know, or things like that? Listen to what they say, blah, blah, blah. I always say no. It's if this person is constantly around you is always finding a way to be around you even if they don't say anything and so I feel like there is this element of um, this could be someone that you work with someone you're connected to at work where you work side by side but you really don't say anything to each other you don't really talk there could be like this maybe once in a while you catch a glance or they catch a glance vice versa but nobody says anything <laughs> And where it says, imagine yourself and your, your beloved being surrounded by light. Feel the relationship being healed as if it's forming, as if it's developing. Okay. It doesn't have to be work. You're just connected with this person over the weekend where you're both in the same place. It could be work. It could be home. It could be school. You know, it could be... Um, social activities whatever it may be and you can you can feel if this was a connection that you had with someone in the past you could feel the energy of um, maybe um, this beginning to heal the relationship beginning to heal or um, healing light and love and union is beginning to form if this is someone new okay so allow it okay so who's next Virgo Okay, Virgo, you have the freedom card. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And then you have, ooh, the lovers. Okay, um, so Virgo, that's kind of a contradiction. There's freedom and love. There's um, the energy of being free to love now in your life. I'm going to clarify the lovers. There is um, something holding you back, Virgo, from having this loving, warm, twin flame type, soul type union with another person. Something has been holding you back. And the, and the message here now is... You're now free to do this. So whatever's holding you back or whatever's been holding you back, take a look at that. Okay, there is Gemini energy here as well. Um, and something is also, you know, this is if you're single, but if, but if you're not single, there is this element of um, both being free, maybe f um, free from each other to have the true love, but free to be together there, it, it's like the path has opened up somebody's been stopping something from making it happen 
yeah, there's a lot of stress and anxiety here. This relationship, <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh, but that's what the, that's what the blockage is. Some type of stress and anxiety. Feeling overwhelmed. Thoughts, overwhelming thoughts. There's a, sometimes when something is so great, like, here's what I was thinking. If you, um, you know how you hear about people who, um, they win like a, a lottery. They win so much money that um, they have a heart attack. <sighs> I'm not saying you're going to have a heart attack or win the lottery, but I feel like it's, this thing is so great. This connection can be so beautiful and so magical and so wonderful that it almost overwhelms you and stresses you and scares you or the other person. And the reality is that your fear or the fear that's happening here is keeping this person or you in this stressful environment when the actual the actual love itself the the connection brings f ab absolute freedom so somebody's fearing the freedom or they're fearing losing their freedom or somebody's fearing losing freedom but the path is clear now so you know so this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get messages of that, although the lovers can represent communication. There could be communication about someone who is stressed or has been stressed and they haven't been able to get free to connect with you or vice versa. Okay, so you may hear something along those lines. So let's move on to Libra. You have the playfulness card. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. And Libra, you're ruled by Venus, so I'm sure you're already aware of that. And then you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so Water, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Playfulness card here represents, you know, uh, the, the Knight, whoever this person is, it's not a serious kind of a situation. So there could be a date or there, um, there could be, you know, someone tries to romance you or make you feel... Um, special that kind of energy and it creates this uh, fun energy surrounding both of you over the weekend it can be very healing um, it's very beautiful but again it's not you know the night is not the committed type <laughs> I'm not trying to put you know rain on your parade but I try to give the cards in both meanings so just be Wary if you're, you know, if this is someone new coming into your life and you have a really good time, just remember it's just for the, it's just for the weekend, and this night is not necessarily, uh, in a negative form. It's just that it it's very simple, a very simple connection, that brings playfulness and healing and fun. And if that's something that you need to embark on this weekend, definitely go for it. Um, it seems like it will be really nice for you. Um. And this could be somebody coming to see you or you going to see them. It could have something to do with travel, uh, possibly like um, driving distance type of situation, okay? Where maybe somebody, it could be a date. I don't know if you're dating or whatever you might be doing. Um, it's very sweet. Or you go to have dinner with someone or wherever you might go or wherever you might do and they bring you flowers or they bring you a flower or something sweet like that. Um, it's a healing energy for you over the weekend. And for some of you, I feel that resonates because you may need that. All right, so let's move on to Scorpio. Well, you have the power card. Isn't that fitting? You're in, you instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Seven of Wands. Okay, we have power, control, fighting type energy. Either you need the power or you are following through with saying no or walking away from something defending yourself from something you may feel an energy of um perhaps being um like a lot of people saying things to you or you know trying to connect with you and for some reason, 
I feel like you're kind of staying out of the loop, like you're backing, you're pushing people away. You might be pushing people away. Or you're saying no to a lot of people or um, just to an energy of someone who could be quite pushy with you over the weekend. And you're blocking, block, 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 block. And you're not exactly sure what you're blocking. I don't know, just, okay, the king of swords. So it's like an air sign, um, male or female, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, blocking the energy of this person. They might be a little harsh with you, or they could be saying things to you, or behaving in a very harsh type of manner, uh, a bit coldish, um, perhaps. And you know, the airs are air signs are always about messages, so there could be messages, or someone's trying to. Uh, I don't want to go down the road of manipulation because the King of Swords in the upright is not known to be a manipulator, but can be a calculator. So be careful with that energy. You you may need to actually stand in your power. It doesn't have to be air sign. It could be any person who's just, you know, he wears his... He wears his blue coat, his blue... Um, well, he's got on a, like a pinkish red cloak, which does represent passion on the outside, but this person kind of comes from basically a very cool, has a very, has a coolish type of um, interior about them. And I just feel, I just see you kind of blocking yourself from this or saying no, or just removing yourself from this situation this weekend. Again, like I said, not necessarily manipulative, but could be saying things, could have an energy of being a little calculating um, or forcing themselves on you with their words. Okay. All right. So let's move to Sagittarius. So manifesting miracles, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And that's paired with the two of pentacles. So I feel like you Sagittarius are definitely trying to balance things out and figure out uh, you're you're holding your own and you're keeping things together okay um, this can be a card about decision so you are definitely manifesting miracles in your life um, but this one particular thing that you've been hoping and wishing and working towards is uh, you make it some type of sign or uh, yeah definitely some type of sign or signs that you're on the right path and it, it's coming soon to you you know how sometimes you ask the universe can you just give me a sign when you begin to feel doubtful if you're doing the right thing or if this is right for you I feel like you're going to get some type of sign because you've really been juggling and holding your own and balancing things um, so there is some type of an attachment to crystals um, there could be something attached to maybe a dance recital or a ballet or um, something to do with money Something to do with the month of April. Some types of, uh, you know, signs along those, uh, including all of those things. Um, oh, and I was picking up something to do with, I don't know where this is coming from, but Hawaii. I don't know if any of that will resonate. For some of you, it might. There's plenty of viewers. But um, whatever, again, whatever you're trying to manifest, you're, you will definitely um, have some in, some clues will be coming to you. And if you, you can also ask. You can also ask too, you know. But it says to trust your heart, continue to follow its guidance. So there's, you know, to me also, when you look at this, um, you see all those little gems down there. You you will be given. Uh, someone's throwing these spiritual breadcrumbs your way, 
and they're basically telling you to keep following the bread trail because that's going to lead you home that's going to lead you to where it is you want to be or you need to be okay so um just follow the signs don't doubt yourself just keep following the signs and i feel like that that's definitely going to bring you where you want to be okay so let's move on to capricorn so you have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others then you have the hangman okay you're stuck stuck on a on a decision that you know you need to make but you're you're suffering because it's either do i do what everyone else wants me to do or do i do what i think is right for um the universe and everyone else or do i do what is right just for me and you're kind of like in this place here where you know you're hiding you don't want to deal with this you don't want you know you feel trapped you just want to let it go you don't want to have to make it this decision and so if you've had something you've been battling or some type of decision it's saying don't make it this weekend just let it go put it off you have to put it off because you're in doubt when in doubt don't do anything and you're trying to figure out you know you're in a trap position do I accept it and just say and just uh, make the decision just to go along to get along or do I you know say hey you know what this isn't good for me and I don't care what anyone else thinks I'm not doing this I I think you're you're fighting that battle let me just pull one more card for the hangman mm, yeah you're trying to be victorious but who wins you know there's never there's always a winner and a loser someone will lose out who's it gonna be you know you may need to check your ego too if you're wrong about something then you need to own up to that if you're not wrong about it then you need to stay true in your conviction right so these are just the thoughts I feel like that would be swirling around um, you obviously want what's best for everyone and you're looking for a way to make yourself happy and others okay but I if you can find that you may need to dis, you may need to figure out if that's possible um, if there's a way to you shouldn't don't get to the point where you have to compromise yourself in order to make others happy um, that's not the that's not the decision the decision is you know it's about your boundaries it's the decision of is this going to be what's best for me it, will it also be so sometimes a decision that's best for you may not feel like it's best for everyone else but it may actually be best for everyone else so also it just doesn't feel that way so maybe the decision needs to come more from your head than from your heart it's a tough tough decision to make for this weekend or to think about this weekend it's not you know it's they may involve some tough love to some degree all right so we're going to finish capricorn and then move on to aquarius so you have the friendship card nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so um you're in some type of a relationship with someone that the friendship is lacking to some degree so I think uh, it feels like some of you are in um, a relationship with someone whether it's a work relationship or love relationship whatever it might be um, but the foundation for the relationship needs work it needs nourishment um, so maybe there has been a lack of being able to bond with each other or to nourish the relationship because um, somebody has been extremely focused on their work eight of Pentacles that's you know look at her Let's see if we can see it she's just looking down at, at the work that she's doing very focused on that nothing else she sees nothing else around her um, so I do feel like it's either you or another person um, the friendship the camaraderie that you both have 
um, it needs a little bit of water to keep it going to improve it you know uh, a, a plant it's like a, it's like a plant that's you know beginning to wilt it doesn't need an ocean amount of water it just needs a little bit of water a couple of ice cubes whatever a little bit of water and it brings it back so beautifully you know so there's an energy here of focusing on what areas in your life either you or another person um, where there's been neglect in a particular connection and it's saying don't neglect this you know don't neglect this relationship don't neglect this connection um, it's the advice for the other person as well um, or else the relationship will no longer be <clears throat> very important care um, with people that you know you care about it's not just about okay well that person not taking advantage of someone else's um, devotion uh, because people people will not um, unless they are like some kind of saint people don't usually stick around and uh, they're not usually doormats and neither are you okay so there may be another that's something else you may need to look at you know with someone that you're connected with you know we've been in this for how long and I you know I barely see you anymore with you don't have time for me blah 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 and um, we need to at least hold on to the friendship that we have or to nurture it so that our, our love life can improve you know so it's vice versa here okay so this um, energy is playing out over the weekend um, and I feel like if you're working all weekend <clears throat> maybe take a little time for your significant other or if they're working all weekend ask them to take a little time for you okay and also if you if you don't have a significant other and this is someone that you are connected to at work um, you have somewhat of a friendship um, but there's an interest maybe of some sort a romantic interest um, that will blossom once there's um, a lack of, when the lack of neglect between both of you goes away when you guys uh, both look up from what you're doing and acknowledge each other and try to spend a little bit of time together right so if you're interested in someone at your job but you guys don't ever talk you're ignoring each other but you have kind of like maybe like a work friendship or something um, it, it may be advice for you to you know try to nurture your friendship with this person through work um, if you're interested in something more okay um, if you're female maybe you just need to let somebody know that you have um, uh, that you're interested in making the friendship a bit stronger right just friendship it's not hey I have a crush on you let's get married because that's creepy and you don't want to do that okay so who's next let's move on to Pisces oh Pisces you have new beginning a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And the, oh, and then you have the death card. Okay, there's definitely an en an energy here of something is ending, and something new is coming in. I don't know why I decided to look at that. Um, so some of you have been taking care of a loved one that. Uh, you are well aware of that it's only a matter of time before this person um, is going to leave this earth and and this is not a prediction <laughs> um, that someone that you don't know who is ill uh, so you know it's not predictive of death the tower card would be here for that this is predictive of one thing passing and something new happening so could it be happening over the weekend it's possible um, this is not a sudden shock like oh my gosh I'm losing somebody it's not that at all there's also a connection here with Scorpio so this energy if you know if you have someone who you've been taking care of or someone who you know is terminally ill um, either the energy is passing this weekend or um, this has already happened or um, it's very very close to this happening and um, it could be in a transition point right now which is creating a new beginning so if you have been taking care of someone um, or there has been um, somewhat of a burden on the loss of someone um, I feel like you're 
there's a freedom that's coming now with this transformation, with this change. And also, if it's not that situation for you, there is an element here of um, something is changing in your life. The old is dying away. The old is moving away. You're cycling out of this now. It could be a relationship. It doesn't mean that a relationship is dying. It could be the dynamic of the relationship. or s There's some type of a change. Somebody is making a transformation. And there's a brand new beginning happening, like a birth. Okay, so transformation. So, you know, for example, um, a baby in utero, he trans the baby's transforming for months and months and months. And then when he's finally born, he's not born, you know, he's He's, he's fully transformed and now he's transforming again after birth because now there's a new beginning here. So that energy is happening here. Someone that you are connected to is having massive change and it's changing your life. And so it's very intense and you could be picking up on this over the weekend. Someone who may have been quite deceptive um, for those of you who don't, um, you know, it could be, however it relates to you, uh, coming out of this energy. I feel like it's uh, some type of healing energy as well, because death is always connected to uh, some type of healing energy for me, especially when it's death and then a new beginning. So, something with the Seven of Swords... It's, it could be connected to, um, even though this is a weekend reading, there's an energy here of uh, connected to the number 7, March 7th, April 7th, November 7th, um, this person... I feel like this person, when they were younger, they were always, this is where their trouble started. Don't, I don't want to go too deep into this um, <laughs> because I, I'm actually picking up messages and then I can't just go too deep with it. But <clears throat> there is an energy of, um, this person was light on their feet at one time in their life and they were um, pretty much living a, a thief life, some sort. There's change happening in the connection to them. And uh, you have a major opportunity here for yourself. If that resonates, you know, you guys can always get a personal reading from me. If, if you hit, if I've hit on something, the link is in the description box below. But I'm going to pull one more card for overall messages for everyone, for each sign, for the weekend. How funny is that? You have this card. <laughs> okay, so let's see what it's talking about. That is, to me, that's like the tower energy. And I did say tower here, but don't, it's not connected to that. There's a, there's a change happening here. Um, this is kind of like, uh, wow. Where is it? Number 59. It's it, the whole weekend is you know it's a no fuck weekend like it's a surprise some type of surprise happening. It says um, why don't I want to curse? I just don't want to curse. But there you go. Things either didn't go quite right or they could be headed in that direction. Sometimes we need a loud wake up call in order to learn the lessons we need to learn, and major upheaval is one way to do that. So it says to allow this dust to settle and you will see what it is you have to work with. It may be time to rebuild something new. Perhaps without meaning to, the situation will cause you to give up something that was no longer serving you. You may be changing directions, but at least it's for the better. Um, so there's some pretty big changes in your life and major endings that you have to face at this time. Um, the advice is to try to detach from the situation and let it be for now and try to see what you could build um, from 
these great changes instead of feeling lost um, or mourning, being in mourning. Okay, so there's, instead of saying, why did this happen to me? Uh, say, what, what are the lessons here for me to learn having gone through this? Um, chaos often precedes creation. So your plans might have been di disrupted, but it might give you the sudden burst of insight you've needed all this time. So how you respond to this situation will make all the difference for your future. Okay, so however that might resonate for you guys, I hope that I was <clears throat> able to bring some some sort of um, clarity from chaos for this reading. And uh, again, if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, link is in the description box below. And have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. All right, take care.